Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and I am back with Roadluck Adventures and Dungeons, also known as Red. You know, in the last episode, I became a pirate. And, and, that, and that's really all that happened. I live in a pyramid. There is a dragon, I believe, over there. And also from last episode, I forgot to change my skin from, I believe, a furry, so... I'm, I'm now a hot dog. I'm pretty sure I'll just continue what I was doing. And what I was doing is just... I pick a direction. I hope I find something good. And if if I do, well... Well, that's great. First of all, I should probably make an iron pickaxe. Also, what I forgot last episode... Is that if you actually click on this... You can pick a skill set. And what, what this does is that... Let's see, we like... Become this. And it gives you some special stuff like this. Give me more critical chance. It, it's it's pretty nice. Okay, scratch that. I believe that there are two dragons nearby my house. I believe he's over there. I believe I can go around to avoid fighting him. Because fighting him with a pirate hat may not be the best idea. I found him. I could attempt to steal from his nest, but I'm not sure if that would make him come back and, and completely slap me. Oh, do you see that over there? Uh, it appears I have found a village, and it is right next to my house. You see, a village, usually what's in a village is a bunch of, like, strange stuff, like there's some bread, maybe, maybe a hoe, a bow, some arrows. And then in one house, there's, like, some overpowered weapon. But it's only in one odd house, and we're, we're already here. If you're wondering why I'm collecting all the seeds, it's because... The first thing I usually try to get... If I can find it, it's the chicken. This, it gives you speed 4, permanently. As long as you have seeds to feed it. So as long as I get some seeds, I'll have speed 4. But to be fair, he's also a little hard to craft, but n nothing too advanced. Would you look at that? Iron pants. Iron ads, some arrows. Like I said last episode, exploring is much better than mining. Unless you're looking for stone. Unfortunately, this means we're gonna have to get rid of the pirate hat. To be fair, we also like doubled our armor right there. So it's nothing to complain about. At the bottom of my walls, there's usually something. In this case, there's some gold. I'll definitely take. This is fairly ominous of what happened. I've never seen this before. There's an enchantment table. Is there a trap under this? Oh. We just got a free enchantment table? I, I I guess we just have an enchantment table now. And and some this is what I mean. Some houses they give you they give you seeds. Other ones they give you an enchantment table and gold. Uh, the, this village had some pretty uh pretty terrible loot. But I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. The one house that I don't explore has a gold block. You know, I never know what I'm gonna expect from from this mod pack. It's like our old crap. It's like our craft, except the things you don't expect, they don't kill you. Instead, it's a gold block and an enchantment table. I I'm gonna go into the dungeon. Which is not something I don't think somebody would voluntarily say that they're gonna enter a dungeon. But here I am. Now, I, I can either step by going to the right, where there appears to be a farm. Underneath the earth, there's a cake. Ominously put in the center of a room. Which is well lit, also in a dungeon. Or to the left, where there appears to be a spawner at the end. Now, I'm, I'm gonna go to the left. Okay, appears I've just found out. I, I'm not sure why I didn't realize this, but the pirate hook, it has like no range. So you have to get really close to people to, to be able to hit them. But for now, until I, until I find something better than a pirate hook, which, which can hit... I believe like a one block away. Until then. Oh my god. I don't like this. This weapon was a terrible idea. Okay, a wooden stick would be a better weapon than this pirate hook. Okay, I'm gonna take this. Trapping is one unbreaking bend. It has better range than... Than the pirate hook, I hope. Now the levels, as you go down. They get a bit harder. And the loot gets a bit better. Okay, yeah, th this is this seems to be much better than the pirate hook. 
Now, here's my reasoning. If I jumped on this, it would have like the best loop of the hardest people. So my plan is run in there, grab everything, and get away. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Now, by all means, most people consider this a suicide mission. But you see, I'm an American. I'm used to suicide missions. I found something. There was a creeper spawner? There was at least two creepers there, but I heard at least seven different explosions. And would you look at that? And now we have to just put it into our inventory. I get speed five, and also it, it gives me eds, which I can, I can turn off. Now I, I just thought of an idea. I think I may be able to kill that dragon. I might die. I definitely could and might die if I go into quest. And then with this, this gives me a golden apple. A golden apple gives fire resistance. If you see where I'm going with this. By resistance, I kill a dragon. I did this in a, in another world, and it, and it it worked perfectly. I found the beast. He's over there. He's not gonna know what hits him. It's time for the fight of the century. I am on fire. Okay, I may have forgotten that normal golden apples may not give me fire resistance. The new plan: I'm gonna go in the water. What are you gonna do now, you buffoon? Actually, what am I gonna do now, B buffoon? It's not going as expected, this is going terribly. I did like negative 5 damage to him. Okay, all of this is just going to be death in about 0.9 seconds. I am now using a pirate hook. And leather boots. Oh, never mind. Remember how I said the pirate hat? Not going to need it anymore. It's just, it is the time to shine for the pirate hat. I suffocated in a wall? How did I get in the wall? I have a wooden sword. Leather cap. Stands no chance against me now. Hopefully he's gonna go away from me. Uh, I'm that. I'm gonna teleport to where I died. Pick up all my stuff. Go back. And uh. I guess pretend it never happened. I'm gonna wait till I get like a bow. Maybe some actual fire resistance that actually works. But until then I'll just be a naked hot dog. I'm not sure why he's not at his actual nest. He instead is doubting this patch of grass over here but you know i can't i can't really criticize him he's he's the same dragon which is currently sending me ablaze my species is far superior than your species and is that all the dead hot dogs that is the dead all the dead hot dogs have been saved well i say saved like they didn't die or something i don't currently have their heads on the wall if you enjoy the video drop a like subscribe and as always i'll see you in the next video when i upload have a great day. Goodbye. Shotty busted open, go savage. Big black pants, watch a young nigga spazzing. Brody bang blood, he be saying what's bracking. Crip car paint, but my blue diamonds flashing. Yo, Shotty love my bars like a Kit Kat. Bake for my sweater to my drawers. I don't mismatch, yo.